What's up guys, this is Dan's How To Videos and today is going to be a quick video again on the iPhone 5. Today I'm going to show you guys how to update it to the new 6.0.1 software. Apple just released this a few days ago. There were bugs when the iPhone 5 shipped out. You have to download an updater for the iPhone 5 before you can get the software. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I'm going to show you guys how to update it. And then I'm going to show you guys how to update it over the air so you don't have to use any cords. Alright guys, let's get started. All right, now before we get started with this, I've got my MacBook Pro here. You're gonna need a computer, obviously, for the setup process here. You're gonna need your iPhone 5, and you're gonna need your lightning port or lightning bolt adapter here, so you can plug it into your computer. Anyway, you also wanna have iTunes installed to the latest version, and then we can get started with this. All right, so I went ahead and plugged in my iPhone to my MacBook here. It opened up iTunes right away. Now there's an update right here. It says a newer version of the iPhone software is available. It says it right here. It says version 6.0.1. To update your iPhone with the latest software, click update. So that's all you pretty much need to do. Obviously you want to back up your uh, phone if you haven't done that already, just in case you lose anything. But usually when you do these updates, it's pretty good. So uh, go ahead and if you want to back it up, you just need to right click on your device right here where whatever you've called it and then you can click back up right here so you can see it's uh, you're clicking on that right there whatever you named your iPhone and then back up and it'll create the backup for you so let's zoom out a little bit and I've already backed up my phone so I don't need to do that let's go ahead and hit update okay and then it's gonna pop up with the iOS 6.0.1 software update it's gonna give you a bit of a description of what it's actually going to do. I'm going to go through some of the uh, couple of the big issues. Sometimes when you had your keyboard open at the bottom, it would become blurry or it had like these lines that would go through it. And a lot of people brought their phones into the Apple store to have them replaced, but that was just a glitch in the software that's going to be fixed. Also, the main fix here is that you can now update your phone over the air. When the iPhone 5 and iPod Touch 5th generation were sent out, they weren't able to be updated over the air. You'd have to plug them in as we're doing right now. But uh, with this updater here, you'll get the fix. Also, it fixed uh, the camera issues. Some of the cameras weren't firing, fixed some of the cellular network issues, as well as some Wi-Fi issues. You can go through them all right here on your own. So then once you've done that, click Next. You need to agree to the terms. So you want to go through that if you really want to, or just hit Agree. And now it's going to update it. So it says downloading one item. It's going to say a couple of things there. It's going to take about 10 minutes. Mine says eight minutes here. We'll give it some time and I'll return to the video. Okay, so it's just about done. It's preparing the iPhone for the software update. Now, just to let you guys know, this took a lot longer than the eight minutes that it uh, said. And now it'll start back up. Once it's updated, your iPhone's going to restart itself. You'll get a little pop-up on your screen. It says the iPhone has been updated and it is restarting. Give it a second to restart and you should be good to go. Now, before we get into how to do this over the air or how to update later on over the air, this update works on the iPod Touch 5th generation as well as the iPhone 5, uh, just because those are the two devices that Apple shipped out with these bugs. All right, it's all updated. Let's go ahead. I'm just gonna put my password in and you're all set to go. So if you go into your settings, and you go to general about and where is it here scroll right to version you'll see it's using version 6.0.1 and uh, also you can see if you go to the software updates your software is up to date with iOS 6.0.1 now later on when Apple releases new updates all you'll have to do is go into the software updates section here and click on an update button or tab and that'll update it over the air as long as you're connected through Wi-Fi. So this is again for the iPhone 5 and the iPhone or the iPod Touch 5th generation. Hopefully you guys found this helpful and you got your iPhones updated. If not, let me know in the comments uh, what you had problems with and I'll be happy to help you. Also, don't forget to, to subscribe for more helpful how-to videos and tech videos. Also, hit that like button down below or if you're on a phone or mobile device, it's on the video somewhere. Hit that like button, show your support, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.